So I did like the TFT70, which is installed on the BQBX. Now on the Anna 3 Pro, I also want to have the same kind of screen, but a little bit smaller. So I'm going to install the TFT28 version 3 on the Anna 3 Pro here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello. I'm Zachary and today in this video we are going to install the Big 3 Tech TFT28 version 3 from the Big 3 Tech screens. Yes, I have a smaller screen and you have a similar screen which is bigger but it is a version 2 I guess and it fits right into the frame from the standard stock frame. So. That one I replaced for the small one and I thought it was a little bit bigger, but it was too small. So and now I'm going to replace it with a decent screen. And like mentioned in the intro, it looks similar like the TFT 70 from the BQBX, but it's a bit smaller because I do like the interface. I do like the, the colors and also have the possibility to switch over from the normal touch screen mode into the Marlin mode. So before I'm going to install this screen onto the Ender 3 Pro, a few little specs about this screen. It has a REM processor chip of 120 megahertz. It's a 32-bit board. It has an SD card, but also a USB port. It has a Wi-Fi port where you can use an expansion board to upgrade this screen with Wi-Fi functionality. And it has also some smaller ports like the filament detection, power resume function and also two user interface serial ports, two of them. This board is similar like the TFT43, the TFT50 and the TFT70 and now I'm going to install the screen on the Ender 3 Pro. So now after the unplugging from the power cord, we are going to unscrew the screen. Keep the screws. We are going to deattach these two wires and also the two ribbon cables. Well, this is one ribbon cable with a Y connector, especially for this kind of screen. So that is off. Now we are going to take this off the frame. So we need to have the screws. So the content of the box, I had to check if everything is there. This one, touchscreen cable, there are two, there are two ribbon cables, there are surprisingly two rubber duckies, and this is the screen, and there it is. So, as you can see, the boards itself are the same form factor, the rotary dial is also on the same spot. There is a reset button here, but further the screen is a little bit different, but that you will see later on in the video that that doesn't really matter that much. So, and this is the back side of each board. Well, as you can see, a huge difference compared with the stock board. SD card reader, a USB, you have also, here you have the same port, but as you can see on the top si side, there you have those little notches, and the notches are here on the bottom. Take attention when you are going to install the board that the little notch is on the downside instead of on the that side. Further, here is the touch screen cable going to be attached and here you have some other expansion ports as well. We are going to use only those here and that one, the other ones we are not going to use in this video. Now we are going to install the screen 
onto the frame. First, we take off the knob and then we put it into the frame. And as you can see, the reset button is not touched by the frame itself. So now we are going to put all screws in there. Something like that. Looks great like this, right? So, as you can see, the difference. I don't mind. You can always print a little frame that comes in between, but I don't mind looking at like that. So, now we are going to attach the gray flat cable, the notch, which is on this side, needs to go down. And it's only for the EXP3. So that one is going into the AXP3, like this. And the black touchscreen cable is going into this port. Make sure that the notches are facing upward. This is how it looks like. And now we are going to install it right here. So now we are going to put the flat cable flat. So because I had these clips, I have used one of the clips on the one of the feet to keep the ribbon cable flat. And now the leveling knobs are just going over it without any problem. And also the black wire, the black ribbon cable for the touchscreen part. Uh, I have put it in between of one of these slots from the aluminum extrusion right over here. So that isn't giving any problems as well. You can also use one of these clips as well for that. Just uh, press it in there and it's all done. So now those three screws from the bottom. There's also a screw here on, on the top, which you have to unscrew. Take the fan connector out. It's that one. So we put it on the side. Don't pay attention to this uh, weird thing. The ribbon cable was too short. I couldn't get to it, so I had to extend it. So that one we also going to leave away. Because this cable is the same, I will leave it in, but I'm going to change the ribbon cable. Now we are going to remove the ribbon cable. We take a flathead screwdriver, pull out the old ribbon cable. Something like that. So that is done. Old ribbon cable on the side. New rib ribbon cable, I'm going to lead it just over the top of the drawer and I'm going to connect it just on this side. Make sure that when you are putting back the metal plate that it is not, um, not squeezing the flat cable. So like mentioned here you have the little notch. Make sure it's facing downwards. Putting it in there. So that one is nice. The black cable I've put over the drawer, just like the other one. And now everything is looking nice as it's supposed to look like. Here, if you didn't use the black ribbon cable, it's going in here and the little loose connector, I don't know for what it is, but it needs to go in there. Everything looks nice. We take the metal cover, we are going to put it back. So make sure that the ribbon cable is nice. Now we put the fan connector back there. Ribbon cable, make sure it is 
nice. So all three screws are in and let's flip the printer back on its feet. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters, Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed and Fix and Dude. Thank you guys for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. And that was the installation of the TFT28 version 3 uh, LCD screen from Big 3 Tech on my Ender 3 Pro. I have a Big 3 Tech board on there, so it's a great addition to that board. Expanding a bit more, I can now also use a SD card, a normal SD card on the side. I have a USB connector also there, so it makes it a bit more easier to use. If you are interested in this TFT28 screen, feel free to use one of the links that I have in the description of this video. Most of them are affiliate links to support this channel without you paying anything extra. If you want to buy the screen somewhere else, feel free to do so and enjoy your brand new printer. Almost brand new printer because the screen, it looks amazing. <laughs>